That was what I call a sick kick, Shamir. What in the world was that? I think it hit a, it hit a bump right here. There's a bump. See that? There's a little bump right here. Because that bounced like way over my head, man. I say your kick is... I was aiming for it. Your kick bounces higher than mine. You and your drop shots, man. I don't know. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I should have been a normal shot, right? How many times did I tell you? I'll repeat it again. How about going down the line with a nice little slice from here? Yeah. What is it with you and drop shots? Get rid of it. You're right. You're right. You you're lost right. every single point where you try to hit a drop shot. Every time I do a drop shot, I have to do some push-ups. Don't worry about that. We're not here for punishment. Okay. Just, just listen to me. That's all I'm asking. Okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just get don't no drops. Doesn't necessarily have to be down the line either. You can go cross court. Catch me wrong footed. Yeah, or short angle. Go short angle. Uh, not short angle. No. That's another thing that you do every now and then. Oh. Okay. Go with the high percentage thing. High percentage. All right, yeah, here we go. That's not high right. You're never set, my friend. Why would you think you'd be set? Because I had my forehand locked. You didn't have anything locked. The ball was lively, man. Plus, it's a windy day. Yeah. You got to keep your feet moving much, much longer. Don't set early ever. Oh, I set too early. Then that's my if you watch the pros, they set inside the stroke. They're not set prior to the stroke. Sometimes they do when it's very uh, easy ball. But, that wasn't but generally easy. speaking, they set inside the stroke. Keep your feet moving as long as possible. So that was poor judgment on my end. You didn't move. You gotta just keep it simple. Yeah. The simple instruction is keep moving longer. Don't set early. Keep okay. that in mind, okay? okay? Ace! You're in love with the hardest shots in the book, man. Yeah, you love hitting. Part of the net, down the line. You love hitting the impossible shot. I could have hit in the middle. Or the, see, you, again, you want to end the point. You're pulling the trigger too fast. You want things to be over quickly. There's nothing wrong with continuing to rally. You hit two great forehands inside out, continue going for big targets. Yeah. Inside in is the lower percentage shot. I gave up on the battle too soon. I gave up on the fight too soon. I wanted to end it. Stay in there longer, man. Endure the fight longer. Come on. Okay. And by the way, it's not like you were fighting. You were in control of the point. I was the one fighting. You're looking at it the wrong way. You were in control, man. Stay cool. Don't lose your cool when you're in control. I'm the one struggling back there, trying to retrieve your, your good forehands, okay? Okay. Come on. Oh. Only problem there was that you hit it too flat. Yeah. You got to put a little bit of spin on there. Remember we talked about in our putting short balls away less. And unless the ball is higher up, it's going to be very difficult to bring the ball back inside the baseline. So you have to bring more caution to your shot. More caution. In other words, if you were hitting a shot like that you hit it way too hard yeah. it's enough to just slow it down like half speed put it put it in the corner it's going to be a winner anyway why because i'm way off the court it doesn't have to be that hard yeah you understand that makes sense exactly. it was too much risk what was that well i got i got thrown off I don't know, something happened and I didn't, I don't know if I should slice it. Just keep, like, first of all, slice. first of all, why don't you run around that? That was not that far to the back and you was hitting such great forehands. If something's working, keep going with it. Your forehand. Did it, did it hit the net and pop up? Is that what happened? What was? Your ball hit the net and popped up and I had time to hit it. I forgot what happened. No, something that, happened that did not happen. Okay. You got to work on your memory too. Yeah. I don't remember anything hitting the net. I don't know. Something you, I remember you ripping crazy forehands. I'm barely getting my racket on, and all of a sudden, you, all of a sudden, you decide to change the tactics and you bring me a slice. Yeah. How much funny. sense does that make? Just keep ripping your forehand. It's working. Keep yeah. being aggressive. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have my choice. That's a really tough shot, actually. It's a low short ball. You're being dragged in. All I did was just... The only thing you do better is trying to get in there quicker and take the ball when it's a little bit higher. If you're digging the ball right off, scraping it... Oh, so it, I, got, I got there late then. If I would have got there... Exactly. I would have had more of a play on Maybe. It. You were scraping it off the ground. There's not much you can do. Got it. Okay. Very good shot, Shamir. Uh. 
Footwork, footwork. Footwork there, yeah. Again, it's a really tricky day because it's windy, right? Yeah. It's super windy. Again, you did not move enough. I saw a couple of steps, but you literally got to be moving like crazy trying to find that ball because it's moving. It's so being moved by the wind and also it's got a little bit of backspin on it. I need more adjustment steps. This mistake that you just made had nothing to do with your backhand technique. It had all to do with two things, which are ball recognition and setup. Yeah. Right? Setup means footwork. I had more intensity too. That intensity, way. you need yeah. to have that yeah. no matter what. Right. Without that, you can't play tennis at the higher level, okay? Excellent shot, nice. I was inside the court. I didn't recover after my serve because I'm tired. Is that what it was? Shamir, I love the way you analyze that because it's absolutely 100% correct. <laughs> it's exactly what happened. Yeah. You can't be stuck in no man's land. That's the oldest tip in the book. You've like heard I, it a million times. It's like I hit a serve, there you go, I hit it. The only exception would be if you uh, get a very floaty defensive ball as a return. Then you're fine, but if it looks like I'm taking a cut at it, you better back up, buddy. Exactly. <laughs> you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Oh, so smart. Wrong footed me. So, do you have volleyed all day? That was bad volley. Shami, I'm going to give you homework for today. Go back and watch our volley lesson. Yes. What did we say about floaty balls that are just sitting in the air? What do you do on them? I don't remember. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry. Shamir, do you watch our videos back? Squeeze and freeze? No. Squeeze and freeze on hard balls. Oh, contact one, two? Contact one, two. Uh -huh. So you can't be yeah. stepping in there and freezing your footwork because you're gonna to be too far away from the ball and it's gonna to lead to you losing balance number one. And also often you're gonna be out of position. So what you gotta do is transition through a ball like that. What kind of balls? A ball with very little penetration, a floater, a sitter, right. a dink shot. Remember that. Contact one, two. Contact, you take two steps after contact. Right. You'll okay. make it every time, I guarantee you that. I think you're hitting way too many slices too, Shamir. It's almost like any ball that's wide on your backhand side, you end up hitting a slice. Where's your one-handed backhand, man? You got a great one-hander. You're not using it nearly enough. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't, don't know if that's my movement issue. Well, here's it. It's, it's just less it, movement. It, I can just turn and slice. You know, I'm going to say a word. You're not going to like this word, but it's uh, lazy. Yeah, no, I agree. It's very lazy to hit slices. It takes a little more effort to do a one-handed backhand. More steps. More steps, a little more effort. Yeah, more calories. You know? <laughs> Maybe a little bit more calories. Yes. But it's worth it for your game because a slice, it's it's not the end of the world to hit a slice, but it's never going to be a situation where you can turn defense into offense. It's just okay? a John McEnroe shot. Not necessarily. John McEnroe can hit backhand winners on the run. It's not a John McEnroe shot at all. Uh, well, his, it, his nowadays slice. I mean, not even nowadays. If you watch Ma John McEnroe, if he played you, he'd be ripping backhand winners all day long dude you wouldn't get a point i apologize no problem ever john McEnroe. Don't ever in, we gotta protect our john mcenroe don't ever don't, insult don't johnny mac john McEnroe. all right hold on i'm not done with you okay, okay, okay. so what you're doing basically is um playing very defensive tennis you have a great, great one-handed backhand use it more okay okay I'm gonna look to hit it's what a lot of players do is they decide way too early to do a slice so in the middle of the court you see the ball going there you already know you're going to hit a slice yeah let the slice come out intuitively more as an emergency situation yeah, like right now, I, I, I'd rather hit slice than hit a backhand. Don't my, do it's that my, it's anymore. It's my go-to shot. I'm like, oh. this, this is not good. Yeah, hit a Let backhand. Let me see you hit more backhands on the run. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Very good, Shamir. Nice. Okay. Nice shot, Shamir. All right, Shamir, that was a really good session. Um, you hit a lot of great shots, but also a lot of mistakes, but that's okay. Yeah. But today was a really tricky day because it was super windy. And also you have a little bit of a problem with your foot. Let's make the disclaimer. <laughs> your foot is, what's going on with it? Um, the two, the bones in my feet, uh, they're kind of mashed a little bit and the cartilage is being worn away. Yeah, so that's why we didn't really play that much in the last, I would say four months. You yeah. only played that one time because you've been hurt. So it's about you getting healthy 
you you getting back out here and moving a little better but you're not 100 percent yet yeah so that explains some of the mistakes too because you you want to move but you simply can't yeah that's, that's, a, that's a level of intensity because if i go yeah. to a certain and, level of intensity and also you know, i would have done a lot more drop shots but you told me you can't really move forward that well no because i love doing a little bit of drop shot lob where you tried to do to me that one time yes you know, I was very Cat upset mouse. because I wanted to do it to you, but I remember <laughs> your foot hurts yeah. and I couldn't do it. But I hope the foot gets better soon thanks, and we thanks. can we can grind a lot more because guess what the goal is? We got to get the 5.0, man. Yeah. In the next two to three years, we got to get the 5.0 rating, my friend. Thanks, Nick. All right.